if someone, if anyone claims to be God, and there's someone greater than, than him, he cannot be the same God who is the greatest all the time. If someone, if anyone claims to be God, and there's someone greater than him, he cannot be the same God who is the greatest all the time. The fact there's someone greater than him, he cannot be God anymore because God is the greatest. Correct? God is the greatest. Yeah. No one is greater than God. Correct? God is the greatest. But we know that Jesus, the mighty messenger, the Messiah, he said the Father is greater than I. So if he was God, how come there's someone greater than him? When we know God is the greatest. Okay? Likewise, no one has more knowledge than God. God knows everything all the times. Correct? Now, let us see what Jesus said. Jesus said about the hour death judgment. He doesn't know it. He said only the Father. And it's very interesting that Allah, Allah's message, Allah mentioned that in the Quran addressing the, the, the Prophet the, 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 the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Allah, the, main, the meaning of the verse, they ask of oh Muhammad, they ask about the knowledge of the Day of Judgment, when the Day of Judgment will be established, saying no one knows it except Allah. So the mighty messenger, the Messiah Jesus, said exactly what the Prophet Muhammad, Allah said in the Quran to Prophet Muhammad. So from this, brother, clearly we can see Jesus cannot be God who was perfect all the times. Make sense? Quran says the same thing that the Bible says regarding uh, knowledge of judgment. Yeah. Why? What benefit would I get if I forsake the biblical narrative or the Quranic narrative? Okay. Okay. The, doesn't say everything the same. The benefit that you get from the Quran that you are, you will be worshiping Allah according to His will. In the Bible, you are not worshiping God according to His will. And the, the benefit, the salvation from the Quran, you will get the salvation that God wants you to do. Not the salvation that was mixed up with paganism. Do you understand? That's the, the Quran is a way of life. Like for example, Jesus was a mighty messenger, but doesn't not teach us in a war how to conduct ourselves in a war, because he never was involved in a war. But we live in a real life when there is a war sometimes, okay? Likewise, Jesus was not married. So we don't know how to treat our wives according to the teaching of God because Jesus himself was not married. Jesus never had children. We don't know how the best way to take care of our children according to God's will. Jesus never had children. So when you look to Prophet Muhammad's teaching, teaching in every aspect of your life, there is an example in following Prophet Muhammad. In peace, there is examples of that in Prophet Muhammad's teaching. So I'm just trying to understand. No problem, are, brother. Ask any question. There are omissions in terms of experiences in life that the Bible doesn't, that Jesus doesn't refer to because he didn't experience. Say again? There are omissions. Yes. Things left out of the Bible that yes. we need to know. Yes. We need to know. We're not addressed. That's correct. That's correct. And the answer is in, the, is in Islam. Okay. You know? So Islam is a perfect way of life. Even politics. Islam is politics above Islam. You know? How to, 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 to run society that's in Islam. Allah said, whosoever does not rule by Allah's legislation, they are the true disbelievers. You know? Why? Because the Lord dictates the one who created this universe, he's the one who knows about this universe in detail. Yeah, I agree. You see what I'm saying? That's why I was saying the vegan guy. But when it comes to our feelings, we have different feelings. That's why, based upon the Creator's wisdom and mercy and justice, did not leave it up to our feelings and intellect to come to a conclusion how to worship him. He sent the prophets and messengers, Messiah Jesus, Moses, Abraham. However, Jesus' teaching was mixed up with paganism. In what way? That's good. In what way? Yeah, Believe in someone died for your sins, that's not the teaching of the, the prophets and the messengers. Likewise, believe in Trinity, that was the, the ancient Egyptians believed that. The Greeks believed that, the Romans or the Greeks. That's not the teaching of Jesus. Jesus clearly said, believe in one God. For example, even the Old Testament, God will not tell me to kill it, to slaughter a baby's alive for something happened 500 years ago. That is in the Old Testament. Likewise, God, that is in Samuel 15. When Samuel said to, when God said to Samuel, 
uh, 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 anoint Saul as a king over the Israelites. Now hear the voice of the Lord. Go kill the Malik, punish the Malik, and do not despair. Um, do not leave no one. Kill a woman, man, babies, infant, children, uh, ox, camels, sheep. Why? Because the Malachites did something to the Israelites 500 years ago. I don't believe that the Most High is teaching. Likewise, I don't believe the Most High will choose someone who is a liar, a rapist, murderer, an evil person to be prophet of his. Why? Because the people will have excuse to reject him. Say, hold a minute, this guy is known to be an evil man. Now he claims to be a prophet of God. He's getting worse. You understand? David, how he's been portrayed in the Bible, an evil person, a liar, kill innocent people. He, he set up his own friend just to sleep with his wife. That's not in the Quran, Allah defended. That's why one of the reasons Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to defend the owner, defend the owner of Jesus, defend the owner of the prophets and messengers, likewise, defend the owner and the might and the power of the Creator and tell us how to worship God. That's why, brother, look, Islam it makes sense. We don't worship, we don't believe God became a baby, someone changed his nappy. Or you got breastfed. Doesn't make any sense, bro. In it. Doesn't make any sense. Do you agree with that? Go become a baby, change his nappy, someone change his nappy. If I make him, if I believe that Jesus was God, then I would I would I would I would believe that he was a child. He was what? He was a child and, and Yeah, I'm saying, but does he make sense? Does well, he I understand. I'm, 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 I, I can accept it as making sense. So you can accept that the most, the perfect God, all the times, he became imperfect. How? Okay. See? So what, what, I, what I would like, what I want, yes. I want to know about Islam. Okay, I'll tell you about Islam now. Yeah, tell me, because I, I, I know what the Christian perspective is. Okay. But I don't know enough about Islam. That's why what I'm doing, if you notice, you know, there's, there, there's a, a principles in Islam. Before you give something, you have to clean. For example, if, there is a, if I want to drink water in a cup and there's a dirt in a cup, what I have to do, wash off the dirt and clean it, then put the water in order for me to have a pure water. So what I'm doing, I'm showing you that what you believe in your heart is a paganism belief. So I'm trying to debunk the belief that you have. Then, when you notice that the belief I have doesn't make any sense, then I will tell you this is the, 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 this is the, 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 the replacement and this is the truth. You see, how can we know that? God gave us the faculties, brother. You know, Allah is the most wise. Allah never said Islam is the truth, just believe in it. No, Allah gave us a clear cut, logical, tangible proofs and evidences to establish Islam as the truth. Because if just about claim, I can make claim, this bottle is God. If you ask me what is the proof, I said no, just believe, just faith, no. Islam is based upon, the belief in Islam is based upon logical proofs, tangible proofs. What is Islam? Islam is simple. We believe Allah is the most high, the most wise, the most merciful, create this creation. Based upon his wisdom and his mercy, justice, he chose people amongst us from our kind to teach us about our purpose of this life because we have a purpose, you agree with that, okay? Again, when the Creator chose people amongst us to teach us about our life, He did not just send them by making a claim. He gave them what? Criteria in order for you and I to differentiate between a true prophet and a false prophet, okay? You with me so far? Okay. Now, He sent the prophets a message, all of them, to call people to worship one God. That's the, the, that's the foundation of Islam. Worship one God, stay away from the false gods. I believe if I was alive at the time of Jesus, the Messiah, and I was an Israelite, the only way to get to God is by following Jesus' teaching because he, because he was the way to God. Before Jesus, Moses. Before Moses, Abraham. That's why we believe all the prophets and messengers because they were sent by God to teach the people. Now the last prophet is Muhammad all of them alayhi salatu was salam. Last of Prophet Muhammad. So now, that's why there's two Islam. There's general Islam and specific Islam. General Islam, every prophet and messenger came to call people to submit to God according to the prophet that was sent to them. Specific Islam now is what the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, came with. First, worship God alone. Don't worship no one besides him. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what, go through 
the difference between Genoa and specifically? Okay, Genoa Islam, every prophet and messengers came with Islam. What does it mean? Every prophet and messengers came to tell you to submit to God according to his will. That's what Allah said in the Quran, inna deena inda Allah al-Islam. The only religion with Allah is al-Islam. What does it mean? All the prophets and messengers were sent with Islam, with submission to God and stay away from paganism. Clear so far? Now specific Islam. Specific Islam means now there is no salvation except by following Prophet Muhammad. So you cannot say, I believe in one God, I believe Jesus to be Messiah, I don't worship him, am I safe? I said no, because now the, 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 the true salvation is in following the last prophet that was sent to mankind is the prophet Muhammad. Clear so far? Okay. Now, so f the, what is the foundation of Islam? Worship one God, alone. You agree with that? That we should worship him, okay? Alone. Be grateful to him, thankful. Second part of the first foundation, we worship God according to the teaching of prophet Muhammad. The question you should ask, why you believe prophet Muhammad to be true prophet? Do you know why we believe Prophet Muhammad to be true prophet? Huh? No. Okay. We believe Prophet Muhammad to be true prophet because one of the, the things about the true prophet, they are known amongst their nations to be trustworthy, truthful, and honest people. You agree so far? They're not liars, they're not evil. Okay. Secondly, they came with the same teaching. Worship God and stay away from the false gods. Generally speaking. Thirdly, they come with the prophecies. Prophecies. Let me give you some prophecies that Prophet Muhammad said. One of them Prophet Muhammad said in the Hadith, which is in Bukhari, the most authentic book after the Quran. Okay? He said, there will come a time when a person will make up a lie. He will make up what? A lie. In the morning, his lie will reach far east, far west. Okay? Now, Prophet Muhammad lived 1,400 years ago. In order... In order during the life of the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, in order for me to travel from Cardiff to from London to Cardiff will take me three days let alone for my lie to spread far east far west now make up a lie put in Instagram snapchat Facebook will reach the question you ask yourself how men that lived in the middle of nowhere 1400 years ago knew about it because why from God another one Prophet Muhammad said in the hadith which is Sahih Muslim, another authentic book of the Muslims. He said, the Muslim the Arabs, they will stop using the camels as a riding beast. Listen to this carefully. They will, they will stop using the camels as a riding beast. Okay? What are we talking about the Arabs? The, you know, the Saudi, Qatar, Kuwait, those countries, 500 years ago, the only thing they used because it's a desert. They use what? Camel. Camel, they call it the ship of the desert. You know? So he said that they will stop and they will use something as a box that will carry them from their houses with their wife to the mosque. Now go to Dubai, go Qatar, go to Arab countries. They don't use camels like before. They use what? Cars. Again, how men that lived 1,400 years ago knew about something that we can observe right now. That's why we as a Muslim, bro, we believe Islam is the truth, not because we just believe. No, we have tangible proofs. Likewise, Prophet Muhammad said, Allah said in the Quran, the meaning of the verse, that the, the people of scripture, the Jews and the Christians, they have corrupted their scriptures. And now there is many, many discoveries that we found that there is different manuscripts. Clearly go and guess one another. Do you understand that? Likewise, the miracles. One of the miracles of the Quran that Allah mentioned in the Quran, that Allah made the Quran easy to be memorized. Easy to be? Memorized. Now, do you, let me ask you this question. Do you know any book, the size of the Quran, you know, the, the Muslim book, the holy book, any book like the size of the Quran, it's been memorized by millions of people, word for word, letter for letter. Do you know any book other than the Quran? I'm not talking about the Quran. Do you know any book other than the Quran? No, except the Quran. Why? And guess who? There is some people who do who the, who the who doesn't even speak the Arabic language and they memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. And Allah said in the Quran 1,400 years ago, لَهُ لَحَافِدُونَ The meaning of the verse, we have sent down the Quran and we will preserve it. 
how can we verify this claim? How can we do that? Easy. Let all of us, the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims, all of us, through our scriptures in the sea, the only book that will be preserved is the, in the, is the Quran. Why? Because the Quran is in Muslims' hearts. 100 million Muslims memorize it. So what Allah said 1,400 years ago, we can verify it now, is the truth. Again, how? Because this is from God. And this statement cannot be a statement of Prophet Muhammad if he was just a normal human being. It's a statement of someone that was chosen by the Creator, the Most High. You understand? So this is the first foundation. If it makes sense, Salaam Alaikum. If it makes sense to you, the first foundation, follow, worshiping one God, following Prophet Muhammad, and why Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet, if it makes sense to you, then the second pillar is the prayer. We pray. Okay? And the prayer is good for you physically, spiritually, mentally. We give charity. We fast. Fast, likewise, is good for you physically, spiritually, mentally. We do Hajj, likewise, good for you physically, spiritually, mentally. All of this legislation is the foundation. Also, the, so this is called the pillars of the outward actions. As for the inward actions of Islam, to believe in one God, believe all the prophets and the messengers, Noah, Jacob, Isaiah, Isaac, Ishmael, Prophet Muhammad, all of them, believe. Believe in the books that God gave the books to those messengers to guide mankind. Okay? Believe in the angels, the like of Gabriel. Believe in the last day, that one day God will bring everyone back to life and will judge us according to our actions. The last pillar, that believing in the, what they call it, everything that takes place, takes place by God's permission. That's the foundation of Islam. Clearly makes sense. No one should die for no one's sins. No innocent person should die for your sins. Makes sense and it goes in line with the sound reasoning and natural inclination. What do you think what I said so far? Does it make sense to you? I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Does it make sense? It makes sense. It makes sense. You know why? Because God gave you what? Faculties. Regardless who you are, a Jew or a Christian, because God knows there are some people who will bring the falsehood. And God gave you that faculties for you to differentiate between the falsehood and the truth. You see, Islam... So Islam does not mix the truth with the falsehood. In Islam, we don't believe someone dies for his sins, none of that. So clear, so simple. Allah mentioned the Quran that this religion will spread out even if the Islamic haters dislike it. The fastest growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. Why? Who's doing the job? Muslims? Muslims' countries are weak. You know who's doing the job? It's the Most High, the one who said that in his noble book. And anyone that wears a war against the Most High, he's going to lose without any doubt. That's why, you know, when Allah mentioned the Quran that he will punish the disbelievers, not any disbelievers, disbelievers, those who reject the truth after it was clear to them. So if it's clear to you, it makes sense to you, I will I'll tell you what I stop you to accept the truth. Which goes in line with the reasoning. Goes in line with your intellect. Let me ask you, do you believe the Bible has been changed? Yeah. Are you Catholic or...? Been edited. What do you mean by edited? Well, because when you change, change, it's very general. I'm just like, edited, edited when you say like the content in the Bible has been has been edited. Uh, what do you mean by edited? Like remove some passage removed. Some something like certain like for instance, there's a gospel of Mary Magdalene that wasn't included. There's a gospel of the what do they call it Barnabas. It was not added. Yes, okay. In that sense, it's been edited, but change is very general. No, even even changed, even changed. Change is too general. I say edited. But I, I, even changed. You know why? Because for example. When you have New World Translation, ESV, and you have King James, there is passages in King James that are not in ESV. Why? Because ESV is based upon a manuscript which is earlier than the manuscript that King James is based upon. But again, which one is the Word of God? And we know God is the most wise. The most wise God will not leave us with the truth mixed up with the falsehood. He will clarify the truth to us, correct? That's why the Quran, the way it's been revealed to Prophet Muhammad, we have it now. Do you know why? Because from day one, Prophet Muhammad will encourage people to memorize the Quran. 
and the Muslim memorize it. And the Muslim will do anything to memorize the Quran. And the Quran that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu you know, like, like for example, Jesus, the mighty messenger, he never had his Bible. He never had the Bible walking around with it. No, this Bible came way after. Even how it was canonized. How it was canonized. I'm reading a book of one of the great uh, scholars in Christianity, in uh, uh, what they call it, um, uh, critic about uh, manuscripts and everything. He's mentioning that from the 8th, 17th century, the scholars in the Western world they start not sin. That there is many differences and how this, why, what was the criteria that the church used to accept one gospel and to reject the other gospel? What was it? They don't know. Rather, it is known some societies, Christian societies, they have different Bibles, they have different canon than the other societies. That's why, you know, Islam is clear. The Quran, the Quran that we are reciting, it was the same Quran Prophet ﷺ was reciting to his people to guide mankind with. Because that is the speech of Allah, which Allah created us to follow. Clear. It makes sense. If it's clear, it makes sense, and you believe that is what goes in line with your sound reasoning, natural inclination, you should accept the truth and testify the truth, bro. Testify there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, because that is the truth. That is what goes in line with your sound reasoning, natural inclination. Not Christianity, or Judaism, or Hinduism, or Sikhism, Buddhism. Islam makes clear sense. You know, that's what Allah always says, reflect. We do not reflect. We do not use the brain. Because you know, bro, our life is very short. One day we're going to live this life. If we die, Allah said, Woman Adalamu Mimman Lukira bi ayati rabbihi, thumma ala the anha, inna min al mujrimina muntakimun. Who is more and the meaning of the verse? Who is more unjust than the one who has been reminded with Allah's verses? And he turns away from it. He says, I'm very busy. I need to pay bills, I need to do this. Uh, who's, indeed, Allah will take the revenge on those people who are the truth. Allah said in the Quran, Are we going to make equal those who believed with, with those who reject? How can you judge? You know? Do you have any questions you want to ask? If I ask you what is stopping you to become Muslim, what would you be your answer? If I ask you what is stopping you to accept the truth, Islam? Because I'm seeing a lot of commonality between Islam and Christianity. That is true because we believe Jesus was a true uh, prophet of God. However, the foundation is not the same. The foundation of Christianity is based upon paganism. That's why you know, even the Jews now rejecting Jesus to be Messiah. Why? Because they say, according to the Old Testament, anyone that is hanged or crucified is cursed. So how can you believe Jesus is a Messiah and he was hanged? That's why Paul, the one who changed everything, he changed the true teaching of Jesus. He said Jesus was cursed because of our... No, Jesus was not cursed. The Satan is cursed. God is holy. The Satan is cursed. The prophets and messengers are holy. Look how Islam speaks about the prophets and messages about God. By Christianity, Judaism, God regrets, God becomes cursed, God died for sins, God becomes, someone changes nappy, someone... What? Come on, bro. Doesn't make any sense. God is perfect all the times, but he was imperfect. Allah, no Allah in the Quran, about Jesus and his mother cannot be God, because both of them used to eat food. Why Allah said that? Because that's not the nature of the Most High. The Most High is not a need of His creation. He's self-sufficient. The fact that Jesus was not self-sufficient, He cannot be the same Creator who is self-sufficient all the times. Allahu Akbar. Look how He makes sense, it's clear. That's why many people accept Islam in the park, outside the park. You know? Uh, if you guarantee, are you guaranteed to live tomorrow? Are you guaranteed to live tomorrow? You're not guaranteed to live tomorrow, of course. The only thing that's guaranteed in this life is death. So if, if it makes sense to you, it's clear to you, then I will highly recommend you accept the truth before you visit the grave. So, I have a question. In Christianity, Go on, ask any question, bro. Your, your eternal life is guaranteed. 
in Christianity? In Christianity, eternal life is guaranteed. How, how, is, he, how, how, is, it, how is guaranteed? Tell me. Because, we, because in Christianity, there's belief that... Jesus died for his sins. Jesus died for his sins. Yeah. And the Spirit was given to the, the, the church. So those who of us who are of faith, uh, and could be believed, we are co-inheritors of the eternal glory that Christ receives. Yeah, but the, the, in Judaism they believe the same thing. In Islam, Allah sent the Quran, and Muslims they will be in paradise. Mm -hmm. Salvation. If, 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 there's, if there's promise of eternal life, if I was to accept Islam, I would be rejecting the promise of eternal life. Yeah, but that eternal life, is it based upon the, the, the God's promise or based upon people that came after and just made it up? Let me make it clear to you. When the young boy came to Jesus, he said, Oh, good master, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? What was Jesus' answer? Uh, Keep the commandments yes. of Keep God. Commandments. Keep the commandments of God. Jesus never said to him, because remember, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Prophet Muhammad, all of them are the best advisors. They want good for people. So the young boy came to Jesus, is asking him, Oh, a good master, what should I do to enter paradise? That's what he means. To enter what? Paradise. Eternal life. Okay, now Jesus was, that is the best time for Jesus to say, believe at that for your sins. Did Jesus say that? He never said that. What did he say? Keep the commandments of God. He said, I've been doing it since I was, I was young. Jesus said, you are lacking one thing. He said, what is it? He said, give you wealth away and follow me. He never said, believe at that for your sins. He never said that. Why? Because I got anger the teaching of the Old Testament. The Old Testament, exactly what Allah said in the Quran, that in order for you to get the eternal life, do righteous actions, believe in God. Because why? Christianity is easy for everyone. Jesus died for my sins, let me enjoy my life. No. Allah judges you according to your actions. I, I, I agree with what you're saying. I agree that, that, that Christ, the sacrifice of Christ, doesn't exclude Christianity, Christians from, from needing to act righteously. I believe, I believe in what you're saying, and I believe, I believe that Christians still have a responsibility to have righteousness. Yeah, but the point here is that Jesus, what was Jesus teaching? I'm not about Paul. Because you know, now the Christians are uh, followers of Paul, not Jesus. Also followers of the Gospels that was written by people unknown. You know? Imagine I write a book and I say, this is what God said. And you guys tell me, did you get it from God? No. I'm just talking about what happened here. Luke, Mark, Matthew, John, none of them claim they were inspired by God. Person might say, Paul said all oh, scriptures were inspired by God. When Paul said that, first of all, Paul himself, he was not inspired by God. Let alone for him to say what God should say would not. When Paul said that, first of all, that the Bible was not written, the New Testament. So that's why the Christian scholars said the earliest Christian churches, they were using either the, just the Old Testament or the Old Testament and the teaching of Jesus. But now you have completely different books which Jesus himself he had no clue about. Not Jesus, A.S. Salaam, even the writers of those Gospels, they never knew or thought in their life that their books or what they have written would be held as sacred. Subhanallah. Wallahi, bro, I'm calling to the truth. So clear. I can challenge anyone tell me where, what's wrong with the foundation of Islam? What's wrong with it? It makes sense. Worship God and God. Allah says worship one God. For, uh, worship according to, Prophet uh, according to God. Yes, Prophet Muhammad in our time. Before Jesus, Moses. Proof and clear cut proof Prophet Muhammad is true prophet. We have it. Evidences. That's why, you know, there's no salvation except by following Prophet Muhammad. I mean, how can you base your salvation upon a book that you don't even know who wrote it? Upon a book that... The, 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 the writers of the Gospels themselves they never claimed they were inspired by God. Imagine like someone could get a, news, a newspaper and he say, you know, a newspaper said the only way for salvation is by be vegan. For example, the guy vegan. Be vegan, yeah? They say, okay. But the writer of this newspaper never claimed that he was inspired by God. Who did you get that from? That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Most High, challenged people to invalidate that the Quran is not from Allah, Allah never just made a claim. 
and that's saying, you know, Allah challenged them. Allah said, bring something like it, like it in its eloquency, in its prophecies, in its miracles. The challenge is still on. You know, why the only book that is, uh, do you remember what I said to you? Allah sent the Quran that will preserve the Quran. Can we verify that claim? We can. How? Let us, the Jews, the Christians, challenge. Now I challenge every Christian. Jew, let us do it through our scriptures in the sea. The only book that will be preserved is the Quran. So therefore, what Allah said 14 years ago is true. Allah Akbar. That cannot be statement of Muhammad. How we knew that will happen? I mean, the Jews, they love their scriptures. The Christians, us, we are seven years old. You know what we do? If everyone threw the scriptures in the sea, we can bring our children, 9, 10, 11, 12, to rewrite the Quran. The Christian scholars, they even memorize one chapter of the Bible, let alone one gospel, let alone the whole New Testament, let alone the Old Testament, the New Testament. Well, is so clear, bro. And I can see in your eyes, you are knowing it's so clear. And it's the truth. But it's up to you. Allah said that, فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ If you want to believe, believe. Doesn't mean Allah saying you disbelieve. No, no. It's up to, if you want to believe, believe it's better for you. But if you disbelieve, then you will regret it. Allah gave you time. Allah, you never knew that you're going to meet me. Likewise, I never knew. So here, if the truth is clear to you, testify to the truth, alhamdulillah. And I always mention, if the foundation is clear, then accept the truth. Before it's too late. How many people left the house, they never come back? How many people won't sleep, they never wake up? How many? Many, 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 many. Allah said in the Quran, when a death comes to one of them, He will say, Rabbi Rji'oon, O oh my Lord, return me back. La'alli a'malu salihan fi ma tarakt. Perhaps I do righteous actions. Perhaps I increase my righteous actions. Now you have the chance. Standing here, you're alive. Maybe you can leave the park and gone. That's why I always repeat, if it makes sense, and you believe the truth and it's clear, then accept it. You know that Christianity doesn't make any sense. You know that God is perfect all the times, but he became a baby. Doesn't make any sense. God knows everything all the times, but he did not dare judgment. Doesn't make any sense. God is the greatest, but someone greater than him. Doesn't make any sense. God is all powerful, but he got beat up by a group of pagan Romans. Doesn't make any sense. Clear. So clear, man. So clear. Allah Akbar. You know? What, what would be your excuse if you die, bro? And stand before the, the Creator, the Most High? What would be your excuse by not accepting the truth? When it's clear to you? I would make, I, I would, I accept the justice of God. So if I, if I was to die by the will of God, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make an excuse. I would simply accept it. Yeah, but you, you, you're not going to accept by punishing the fire, bro. If, it's not a joke because. If, if, I will, if, if, if that's the, the prerogative of God, I do not have the right to challenge it. No, but God gives you the will now to decide. That's why don't blame God on their resurrection. I'm not Rather. That rather it's it, it, Satan and Satan's gonna free himself. I mean, if you can handle the fire, that's something amazing, but you cannot because if I ask someone to bring a lighter and try to put it on your hand, you're not gonna handle it. And this fire is scared of the hellfire. The fire, this fire, is scared of the hellfire, let alone you. That's, why? Person say, why God has to punish people with the fire? God is the most merciful. Even with threatening us with the fire, is merciful. Why? Because he wants us to follow the truth, that's why he threatened us with the most severe thing, which is a fire. That shows you what? He's merciful. People never look at it this way. This is, see? People are thinking, why a fire? Because God wants to follow the truth. So when you reject the truth and you know the outcome of rejecting the truth is a fire, then you know you are the most evil person. I'm saying you, in general speaking, you know? You know, I'm not saying it, brother, because you seem like you're a nice guy, sincere guy, hopefully, inshallah. But that's what I'm talking about. You know, because that's one of the doubts of the atheists. Why God has to punish the fire? Rather, that shows you his mercy. You see? Because he knows that his creation, the mankind that he's created, nothing will stop them except the fire. 
So if you don't stop by the fire, then you deserve to be in the fire. You know? So if you have any questions, I, 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 the reason that I'm encouraging you to accept the truth and testify, but on the condition you are accepting that it makes sense and it's clear. Okay? And it's the faculties that God gave us. If something makes sense and I believe it makes sense and it's the truth, then I should accept it. See, but it, I, I, it makes sense to me. Whether I would devote my life to it because it makes sense to me on a, on a more conscious, logical level, I don't know. I would need to. I would need to. I would need, need to, more. I would need. I would need something. To, because if you're a Christian, you wanna read more or you wanna? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be, I wanna increase my exposure. Basically, what I'm saying. Because if you're a Christian, mm. you have to understand that they believe they already have this. So if you're, if you're, if you're, for me, I would need to be convinced that. So, so for I really, you, I would need to be convinced that Islam is that is 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 the what Islam believes is make more sense and is it clear is, and it goes in line. That's why I'm. Not, not that it makes more sense, but in terms of. It would need to hit me deep, more deeper than Christianity does. It would need to hit me in a place that I had not known about before. Of course, about uh, worshiping God. I mean, First yeah. of all, uh, Christianity. Are you? Are you? Tr the Bible, the New Testament. Was it inspired by God? Show me where Mark or Luke or Matthew, John claim they were inspired by God. I don't have a Bible. Either. Get the uh, get the Bible. I'm going to show you that uh, again. Yeah, get the Bible. None of them claim they were inspired by God. None of them. Also, how is it not going to hit you when you believe God, Jesus is God, and it does not... No problem. Oh, I need to go in half an hour. No problem. How is it going to hit you when I just prove to you that the God that you believe in cannot be God? Wait, well, sorry, I want... How can... You said that you need something to hit you. Okay, yeah. hard. How... When I already explained to you that the God that you believe in, he cannot be the same God who is the perfect all the time. That should hit you. Because imagine I believe in Allah. Then someone told me, show me Allah is not the hour. So what, 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 what? Allah knows everything, but Allah is not the hour. That's not going to hit me. That's going to make, uh, make me faint. I just showed you the God that you believe in. He's perfect all the time. He's the greatest, but someone greater than him. God is the greatest. Correct? Is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? Is God? But Jesus said the Father is greater than I, so He cannot be the greatest. God knows everything all the times. Is Jesus God? Jesus said that's not the hour. Come on, bro. That should hit you, not hit you. I don't know why you're still standing. I mean, you should get a chair. I mean, that's clear cut. This. Does God change his nature? No. So when Jesus, before Jesus became a baby, was he a baby or he was God? So when he became a baby, did he change? Yeah, yeah, he would, he would, he would, he would have to... Change, to yeah. But you just told me God does not change his nature. So you cannot be the same God. That was perfect all the time. My problem is that these are semantic arguments, but I want, I want more deep. Semantic? I want, I want deep. That's the foundation. She has a question for you. No, 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 bro. <laughs> I'm going in half an hour. She can come now. So, no, 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 I spoke to her many times. Ask me oh, the reason I was okay, speaking to you. Yeah. Speak yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. You can watch the videos. <laughs> the, the, the point I'm mentioning is this is the foundation. What is the first commandment? Oh, hey, children of Israel, you, our God is one God. And there's nothing like God. And God is not a man. That is in the Old Testament, Hosea 9:11. Let us see how Allah describes himself. And tell me what you think about it. Allah said, Qul huwa Allah ahad. The meaning of the verse. Say, O Muhammad, Allah is the only one, the unique. Allah is Samad. Master, self-sufficient. Pay attention, yeah? Master, self-sufficient everyone's in need of him he's not in need of nothing and no one he beget not no one gave birth to him and doesn't give birth to no one and there is nothing comparable to him what is your description of god that would be 
in direct contradiction to the Christian understanding. No, no, you are, you have, you are human being. God gave you reasoning and natural inclination. Does he go against your reasoning, natural inclination? Does he go against that? Does he anger, does he go against your, what you believe about God, that is perfect all the time? He doesn't go, because why? These verses show us that Allah is perfect. He, no one gave birth to him, he has no beginning. He doesn't give birth to no one. He's not a human being, okay? He doesn't rely on no one. That's the God that you are believe in your heart. But because you've been brought up as a Christian, you are struggling with your belief. You don't know how to harmonize with your natural belief about God, which God gave it to you. That's why Prophet Muhammad said, Kullu mawludin yuladu al fitrati. Every newborn is born with a fitra. What is a fitra? Fitra that God gave us called natural inclination. Naturally, we know God is perfect. So that natural inclination is like a padlock. However, you need more information about God. The only key that opened that padlock perfectly is the key of Christianity. Three God? No. Because all you believe there's only one God, naturally. The Christian uh, Judaism, God regrets. And uh, he, he got worried? No. God does not worry. God does not regret. The only one is Islam. Comes, tsk, opens it perfectly. How could, the foundation of your belief now is just being de demolished and destroyed. And what goes in line with your natural inclination, which God gave it to you, has been presented to you. Which is Islam. You see? And Islam, brother, imagine you have two, two daughters. One of them go commit a crime. In order to forgive her, you go kill the one she never did nothing. Is that just? You understand the question? Is that just? If God kills someone who is innocent to pay for the crime of someone who actually committed it. Is that just? Is that just? Bear in mind, God in the Bible, the Old Testament said, if someone commits sin, he should be responsible for it. So do I believe that God would be, do I believe that it's unjust if someone who didn't commit murder was to pay the price for someone who... Is it just, look, look, what is justice? Justice to give everyone what he deserves. Okay? He never commits, he never commits no crime. You commit the crime. Rather, he's a good person. I got put in prison for life. Is that just? Does he deserve it? Are we more just than God? So why God is going to punish Jesus for something happened million years ago? Adam and the apple. Or for sins of the people? No. And again, it go, it go and guess the scripture. Is that you? He said, if you commit sin, you should be responsible for it. If you do rash action, you'll be rewarded for it. As Allah said, by time, mankind that are in a clear lost. Except those who? Exception, there's exception. Those who believe in Allah, follow Prophet Muhammad and do righteous actions. And they are patient upon that. That's the salvation. So Christianity, bro, doesn't make any sense to any human being. Except because you've been, I'm not saying you are a human being, you are a wise person, but I believe you don't want to leave it because you've been brought up and there's no good excuse. Because when the Jesus, the mighty messenger, came to the people and he called them to worship God, their excuse was, how can we leave Moses and follow you? But what Jesus came with is what Moses came with. Rather, that what the, the Jews had at the time of Jesus, it was corrupted. He came to correct them. Is that clear? Could you repeat the last bit? Sorry, I zoned out. Jesus came. Lot of Jewish people, the Jewish people rejected Jesus, claiming they are following Moses. But they were liars. Yeah, I agree. Yes, because the teaching of Moses, back then it was not preserved. It was changed. They changed it. He had to correct them. He had to correct them. So likewise, if you believe in, if you believe in uh, 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 Moses and Jesus, you have to believe Prophet Muhammad. Because all of them came with the same teaching. You have you noticed, bro? I, I, I want you to focus before you leave. Your foundation is being destroyed now. The Christianity foundation. Doesn't make any sense. You, either you are, what you have to do, you have to say, you know what? I have to turn off my brain. 
set of martial inclination, just follow scripture, who you don't know who wrote it. Or say, you know what? No, no, no. no. God gave me intellect. God gave me natural inclination. Let me step back and analyze. Understand? Analyze. So, even that Jesus died. Bro, I mean, the, uh, uh, for example, Jesus died for sins. God promised that he will protect Jesus the Messiah. That's why one, one of the, one, 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 one of the, the, the prophecies about the Messiah, that he will not be killed or die until establish what? Peace. Because he was the king of the Israelites. Jesus is supposed to be the king of the Israelites. Okay? That's one of the prophecies. But we know, according to you, Jesus died. Hold a minute. He did not fulfill the, prom the promise then. But we Muslims say, no, Jesus never died. So his mission has not been completed. And he will return, as Prophet Muhammad said, and he will spread peace and justice upon the earth. But I want to focus on the foundation. Does the Christianity foundation make sense to you? God is perfect all the time, but he was imperfect. Does it make sense? I believe that, I believe that, 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 that. Does it make sense? That, that's a paradox. It's a paradox. So, how can you believe it sounds like a paradox? If, sorry, like, would you, would you be able to... Uh, repeat. I just to understand something. Are you to repeat it? Pardon? Would, would, say again, what do you want? I just want to understand something. Okay. Because you made an analogy with God, if he was to take punishment that he didn't deserve. Yeah, because I said justice to give everyone what he deserves. Correct? Yeah. So did Jesus deserve to be punished for a sin that he never committed? No, I don't think he, he doesn't deserve it. That's why we believe Jesus never came down for people's sins. This is a nonsense. Well, I, Jesus what came. If, what if, what if, say, like, to give the analogy again, what if he willingly said, I'm willing to pay the price of suffering? That's so a good that question. Go did he do that? Who? Jesus. He said, Elahi, Elahi, Lema Sabakteni. My God, my God, why you have forsaken me? And when he was praying in the Garden of Peace, praying to God save him from the death. So he was not willing. Well, if I'm willing for to die for people's sins, why I'm asking, when people taking me to die, why I'm asking God to save me? If that was my choice. He was praying, that's why, if you notice the Gospels, when you look at the first, the first, the first Gospel that was written was Mark. But if you go to, so Mark stopped at, my God, my God, why have forsaken me? Look who came after. He noticed, hold a minute, that God against our Jesus who came down for our sins. How can he say that and die? What Luke added, he looked at them and he said, God, forgive them, they don't know. He made it up. Mark, who was closer to the time of Jesus, he said the end of Jesus was, my God, my God, why have forsaken me? Look who came after, he noticed that if we keep it this way, that will clearly show that Jesus never came down for our sins. He was scared. He was asking for help. So when he added, he looked at them and he said, God forgive them. And who is Luke? Luke, he was not the disciple of Jesus. Luke, he was just writing about Jesus' life. Wallahi, lay Allah said in the Quran, there is no after the truth except, mis except falsehood. And there is no after guidance except misguidance. It's up to you, bro. You can leave now thinking, you know what? It's true, it doesn't make any sense. You know what? I've been brought up as a Christian, but clearly Christianity doesn't make any sense. Doesn't go in line with the sound reasoning which God gave it to us. Natural inclination which God gave it to us. That God is perfect, but he's not perfect all the time. Like, step and say, bear witness, there is no one worthy of worship except Allah, Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. It's better off to walk with it and die upon that and your sins will be forgiven. Then, because what I'm, my brother, why I have to understand, bro, I'm showing you with the clear cut proofs and evidences that Jesus cannot be God based upon the textual proofs, based upon intellectual proofs, and that the Islam is the truth based upon intellectual proofs and textual proofs. No problem. No problem. Are you can ask. Are you, no problem. Are you, are you here often? I'm here every Sunday, inshallah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. But you can take my number if you want to. Uh, my phone is married. He's been married. Yeah. He's a bit. Uh, <laughs> no I'll, I'll problem. Be here next week. I'll be here next week. Nice to meet you, bro. 
Take care of yourself. Javan. Javan. Shamsi. It was. Uh, let me give you something before you go. This is this is very good, very good uh, uh, leaflet. Five minutes of Islam and about racism in Islam. All right, bro, take care of yourself, yeah? Look out yourself. Take care.